Hi, this is Mandy from Sunflowers and Doors. Welcome back to my channel. Um, so today I saw something on um, oh, Instagram. I had to think about that one, sorry. And it was fantastic. So I thought, hmm, let's have a little go. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, I have no idea really how this is going to pan out. Um, I'm guessing a lot of it because there was no instructions. It was just a video. So I'm going to start with a 12 by 12 and we'll call it part of the 12 by 12 series. But you can pretty much choose any size paper you want as long as it's a perfect square. Okay, so what I am going to do is I'm going to fold it in half and again get it as accurate as you can you'll always have something that's slightly off but if it can be as, as accurate as possible then <coughs> that helps so you need to decide what you want to be your primary colour Dark light, dark light. We'll go with the light as our primary colour. So we're going to open it up and have our darker colour showing. Now, from what I gather, it looked as though the tip was here. So I think it was a case of this gets folded. So you take from the bottom right up to your centre. And we're going to fold it all the way down. <clears throat> then we're going to take, we're going to turn it around, we're going to take the other side and we're going to do exactly the same. So we're going to take it to our centre and we're going to fold it all the way down. Now this will show you that I'm slightly off centre here. One's larger than the other, but I think from what I can see, that's going to be okay. So I'm just going to give that a quick bit of burnishing. Now the only reason I folded it in the centre is because I can't judge particularly well uh, where the centre is on these. You don't particularly want that crease line if you can help it. It doesn't bother me to be honest. But um, what it also helps now is the next step is we're going to fold from the bottom point up. And as long as it's, I would say, probably about an inch above this line here, um, we're going to fold that up. And again, I'm just matching that to the centrepiece so I know that I've got it right. And I'm going to burnish that. So we've got like a bit of a boat type look at this point. Now, here is where this is too overhanging. So I'm going to fold it back on itself just again so I can get this centre point. And then I'm going to turn it over and fold it inside. And that will be an inside here. And I will be gluing that so that will keep our two inside pieces together carefully. So again, we've got a point. We're going to fold it at the point that it reaches these top pieces here. And that is going to go over there inside. And it will kind of, these two corner uh, side pieces will tuck into it, if that makes sense. Okay. Now, before we do anything else, I think I'm going to glue mine because um, I don't want to start messing around with what comes out and goes in and does all the other weird and wonderful bits. So I'm just going to pop mine down there like that and glue it. Okay. <coughs> Fab. 
So we're left with this like bucket, which is kind of cute on its own and that hasn't stepped properly, but we'll just give it a little bit more time. And that is actually the only gluing I'm going to do, I think. So I'm um, really just going to try and work this out with you guys. Um, I think what I will do is, what did I do with my paper clips? I don't know. I have paper clips, I have no idea what I've done with them. So I'm going to pop this on here just to keep it secure. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to turn this on the side and I'm going to take one of the corners here. And I'm going to fold it in again. Now this card's quite thick, so it's not the that easiest of things in the world to do. But if you can fold it in along your centre fold line there, and you'll get a perfect little fold. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to do exactly the same over here. And that is going to go there. Like that. Okay, so we've got a bit of a bit of an envelope type thing coming along, I think. Let's just check that and make sure that's glued, which it has. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open these two flaps and I'm going to fold them in on themselves, if I can. And it's going to be just a little bit tricky at the bottom, but if you just manoeuvre it, it actually works quite well. Okay, so again, what I did was open this piece here and fold it in on itself. Now, because we've got that crease line in place, in theory, it should actually fold quite easily. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> what we're then gonna do is we are going to take our top piece point and we're going to fold it at that, literally just above where our opening is here. And again, I'm going to use this center piece to make sure I've got it straight. Okay. So we've got ourselves a really basic envelope. But when we open this one up, we've actually got a huge amount of space in here. So it makes a fabulous little gift bag or a happy mail bag. Now, if you wanted to, I suppose you could cut these pieces off if they're going to get on your nerves a bit. But to be honest, I don't think they will. But you end up with a huge bag that you can use as happy mail or, yeah. Okay, I like that. So I'm going to grab my box of things that don't have a place yet because I know that I've got some bits and pieces here which are the same theme as this. I've also got another piece. I think I've got some ribbon somewhere as well, um, which is cool. So these came with the... They didn't come with the kit, but the same... Um, they're the same theme, same brand. So this is the 
herbarium from um, Craft Consortium. And this is the same kit. So we could use some of these if we wanted to. Some fabulous um, little charms that would look probably really quite cute. Um, and we've got some of those that, to be honest, I don't know whether it would probably just look just as nice with some um, some ribbon or lace. This is my less than a meter lace um, cabbie, if you like. So I think if we put some lace across here and then across there, that would look pretty cool before we start. So let's do that. I'm gonna open it this way so because I don't really want to get lace over um I don't want to get glue over everything. So I'm going to glue along here and here and I'm using Fabri-Tac. Uh, I've seen a lot of people use our oh, glitter glue. Oh, gosh, didn't want to get it over here. This is supposed to be my tidy mat. Um, I've seen a lot of people use our glitter glue um, with fabrics and stuff. And I think if you leave it long enough, it's supposed to work really well. Um, but um, I don't have that experience of it just yet. So I'm going to reserve judgment on that until I can actually tell you for sure that it works for me. Okay. So it's very pretty, this lace. I can't remember where I got this one from, to be honest. Uh, I think I it, this was probably part of a pack I got from Etsy and it was um, like a vintage lot um, I think I didn't have much of it so uh, it must have been something like that and I think I'm also going to put a piece across here just to kind of tie it all together um, because we've got these that will open but they don't need to at the moment so I'm going to put some of this across here so that I can lace that and actually what I've just realised is that that could actually be a belly band because it goes right the way through so you've got your big pocket at the front or inside and this could be quite a big belly band if you had the right type of um, bits and pieces to go into it, you know. <clears throat> so there, you've got a nice size belly band there. And that comes over there and I think, I don't think I can have enough of my... I should, probably should have gone down there like that to there and then would they that go there oh, just a tad short but I can improvise Unless I just went, no, let's stick with the plan. <laughs> so I hope you guys are all well. It's, um, It's the weekend for me. Uh, I won't tell you what weekend because this isn't going to go up straight away. Um, 
It hasn't been the most relaxing weekend, in fairness. But I have to go to the opticians today. Um, and I wear glasses for driving. Um, which <laughs> is needed, believe me. Um, but I now need them, because I'm short-sighted, I now need them for short-sighted stuff. Um, see, can't even tell that I patched that up. So I now need them for short-sighted bits and pieces. And I also need another pair for um, computer work. So it's ridiculous, because in the end it was like saying, so you're going to need three pairs of separate glasses. I can't uh, wear contacts because I've got um, like dry eye and something going on with the eye, which doesn't, something to do with the old, um, yeah, something to do with dry eye. And um, so I'm going to go and I'm going to try out some very focals. I have tried them before and didn't have much success, but now I need three pairs of glasses. I'm thinking... I should give it a go. Anyway, so there we go. We have got our envelope, which we flip out. And we've got some lace that makes it very pretty. We've got a whopping space inside for some goodies. And as I said, if you wanted to, you could use that as a... Should have used something other than um, paper, thin paper, in fairness. Oh gosh. Let's start again. There we go. So you could use that as a belly band as well. And if you really wanted to go to town and you're going to use it as happy mail, you can put some pockets on the back, tuck spots. But I actually really like that and I think that's come out. Um, really cool. That lace is just beautiful. I'm not a lacy person, but it is very, very pretty. So the only way, only thing I need to do now is figure out how to do this and do it well without using that centre crease, um, because that is quite noticeable. So I have to get better with my guesstimating, I think, if I want to achieve that. But yeah, another in the 12 by 12, what should we call it, a, um, I don't know. I'll come up with a name for it by the time it goes up. Um, but a huge pocket and a nice little belly band on the front. All from 12 by 12 with no leftovers whatsoever. So yeah, quite like that. I think that's rather cool. And you can embellish it and de decorate it as much or as little as you like. Um, yeah, enjoyed that. So that is today's uh, offering. <laughs> um, I hope you have a go because it really is quite fun. And um, yeah, I think I might make several of these just because they are fabulous for putting bits and pieces in. And in fairness, depending on the size of your journal, so your journal is, my journals are average that size there. So it would fit in my journal. Just. Actually a perfect fit. Perfect piece for your journal. Pop out piece here with lots of goodies in. Just be aware, obviously, of whatever you're going to fill it with. If I was going to use it for a journal, I'd just use it a couple of tags or something um, because you don't want that to be too chunky. You'll never close your journal off otherwise. Um, but yeah, I like that. And you could always put it that way over your journal page and have your page popping out here or have it as a signature and actually sew it into your journal. Now, that's a cool um, idea because that would give you a cool little pocket. So that would be a signature page. So with that, and if you attached this 
along here, you're going to give yourself a side pocket. Two. Wow. Like that idea. So we've got a pocket with a belly band that would act as a signature piece. And a side tech. Awesome. Oh, I will go to bed happy tonight. <laughs> and I will leave it there with you because otherwise I'm going to just be waffling and gushing over it. So um, thank you very much for joining me. It was really good to hang out. I will catch you in the next video. Uh, until then, as always, stay safe, uh, be well, and we'll speak soon. Bye for now.